For his amazing contributions to the fields of material science, Mito Kaku has truly requested that the James Webb Space Telescope has seen six monstrous designs that specialists accepted were unequipped for existing. These assessments have the authenticity to open up new viewpoints on the way in which we could decipher the universe. The transparency is both captivating and humbly testing existing theories about the new development and improvement of universes. It implies a great deal to pay special attention to these updates, and the affirmation by such SAW specialists highlights the importance of these discoveries. Mito Kaku is an astonishing figure in the scientific field, a physicist of American and Japanese heritage. He is viewed as a specialist in both regular material science and quantum mechanics. As opposed to some more moderate and tricky topic specialists, Kaku has been open to the surprising, prideful possibilities of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. His energy to embrace new revelations and share them with the public shows his commitment to advancing our understanding of how we might interpret the universe. We are grateful that this prominent expert has decided to end his silence and directly share what can no longer be denied. The intensity, clear in tone, of the notable physicist is clear in his comments on the revelations made by the James Webb Space Telescope, giving the idea that this has been an advancement that has reignited his interest. Join us as we explore the repercussions of Kaku's openness about these six titanic designs. Kaku is an expert who has always had the capacity to ponder new speculations. Throughout his life, he has shown a responsiveness to ideas that challenge conventional thinking, understanding that Einstein's theories of relativity and Newton's laws, while critical, are limited in fully understanding the universe's complex design. Kaku believes that the revelations of the new telescope could propel the field of cosmology. However, many of his colleagues still can't embrace this view. This has caused concern and apprehension among Big Bang scholars and critics of quantum mechanics, but this only draws laughter from Kaku. The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered six enormous universes dating back to the earliest times of the universe. Each of these massive systems contains more stars than our own Milky Way, despite having formed only 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The group of cosmologists who made the discovery has named these brilliant, endless systems universe breakers. If confirmed, they would significantly change how we understand the universe. The result of these revelations is profound, suggesting that the universe's early years were far more special and complex than previously suspected. The theory of how things began tells us that the universe was chaotic after the Big Bang. The first solid objects took a long time to form, and it took even longer for these objects to reach sufficient density and produce light. The development of complex structures like galaxies was thought to have happened much later. Some of the recently discovered enormous systems outperformed the Milky Way in size, and their immense brilliance suggests they were likely forming many new stars each year, whereas our universe forms stars only sporadically. It remains unclear exactly when the first structures formed, and researchers have not yet settled this. One thing is clear. At the beginning, there may have been only individual stars or groups of stars that eventually coalesced into larger structures over time. Smaller systems supported larger, more massive structures. Previously, it was believed that such large and complex systems were incapable of existing at that time, which raises the question of whether the universe is much older than previously accepted, or if such large systems formed much earlier than anticipated. This scenario is difficult to reconcile with traditional science, which still finds issues with this model. Some areas of material science have specifically dismissed these discoveries and questioned the accuracy of age estimates. Kaku is aware of this and had this to say, there are different models and outdated theories that persist because of the influence of certain well-informed authorities. Many of these theories were scientifically debunked when fundamental investigation revealed their flaws. The truth in any science, especially in material science, lies with the work of experimentalists who keep the theory sharp and on track. He continued, Here on Earth, we have very little data about the true origins of the universe. This explanation highlights the importance of continuous testing, updating, and reaffirming in the scientific process. The theory of how things came to be was first outlined in 1927, based on observations of the universe's expansion. This information led to the conclusion that the universe began from a single, infinitely dense point and has been expanding ever since. At the time, it was difficult for people and scientists to imagine a universe with both a beginning and an end. 
the possibility of a timeless universe was beyond human comprehension. Even today, scientists still struggle to fully grasp it. However, it is important to consider these possibilities, even if the new discoveries don't align with what experts have accepted for decades regarding the theory of how things began. Science has shown many times that reassessment and openness to groundbreaking ideas are fundamental to the scientific process. For instance, when Einstein was young, it was once believed that stars and planets were fixed in the universe and that these particular arrangements occupied a defined space. But now we know that everything in the universe is moving. Planets orbit stars, stars move within their galaxies at speeds of several kilometers per second, and entire galaxies move rapidly through the universe, whose ultimate fate we still can't predict. This astounding understanding of the universe challenges long-held beliefs and highlights the need for continuous inquiry and change in our scientific thinking. Today, scientists are challenged to recognize inconsistencies and determine that theories are insufficient until they have been thoroughly tested or confirmed by observational data. The idea of the Big Bang arose from the observation that galaxies are moving away from each other, and this distance is relative to their separation from Earth. This understanding, known as Hubble's Law, suggested that the universe was expanding over time. Factors like cosmic microwave background radiation and the redshift of light from distant galaxies, along with other cosmological patterns, appear to support this theory. However, it is important to remember that before, people who believed the Earth was flat and that the Sun revolved around us also had observational evidence for their beliefs, until new events or technological advancements came along that gave a clearer picture. Right now, we are seeing a similar situation. Researchers expected the new James Webb Space Telescope to confirm questions related to the theory of how things came to be. But instead, they may have encountered these six enormous systems that appeared to be impossible. This shows that science is constantly progressing, and researchers must remain open to new discoveries and reassess existing theories in light of the available evidence. The astonishing discoveries have tested current understanding and prompted a reassessment of long-standing cosmological theories. Scientists use redshift as a tool to compute various measurements in the study of the universe. Redshift, also known as the Doppler effect, refers to the change in the color of light as light sources and observers move relative to each other. To understand this, imagine stopping and hearing a car approaching you. As the car gets closer, the sound of the engine gets louder, but when the car passes or moves away, the sound changes. This happens because the sound waves change as the car moves. The same is true for light. When a light source, like a distant star, approaches us, the light shifts to bluer tones. On the other hand, when the light source moves away, the light shifts to redder tones. This phenomenon is called redshift. Physicists have converted redshift values into rates and distances for measurements in the study of the universe. However, it is important to note that even a small mistake in these measurements can have significant consequences. The previous assessment techniques are now under review. The latest discoveries related to our universe require consideration of whether they are truly based on redshift errors or if some researchers are simply dismissing current realities. This is a question that requires careful evaluation and a thorough review of the data and methods used in the research. The ongoing evaluation and reassessment of measurement techniques highlight the growing understanding of constant inquiry. Thank you for watching the video. As always, we remind you to post your requests in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and share it so it reaches more people. Also, subscribe to the feed so you don't miss more content like this. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next one. This call to action encourages viewers to engage with the content, fostering a community of curious minds eager to explore and understand the latest scientific discussions. The study of our universe, with its vast distances and complex bodies, continues to astonish and challenge scientists worldwide. From early speculations about the universe to the latest discoveries made possible by cutting-edge technology, each discovery reshapes how we may interpret the universe and extends the limits of human knowledge. One of the most significant and enduring questions in cosmology revolves around the origin and evolution of galaxies. Galaxies are like vast cities of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter bound together by gravity. Understanding how galaxies form and evolve is crucial, not only for unraveling the mysteries of our universe, but also for testing or confirming existing theories. 
For example, the Big Bang Theory, proposed nearly 100 years ago, suggests that the universe began from a single, infinitely dense point and has been expanding ever since. This idea emerged from observations of the universe's expansion and the cosmic microwave background radiation, considered remnants of the early universe's intense energy and light. However, recent discoveries, particularly those made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have challenged several key concepts fundamental to the theory of how things came to be. The JWST, with its remarkable sensitivity and resolution, has identified galaxies that appear far larger and more developed than expected for their age. One such discovery includes six massive galaxies dating back to when the universe was just 200 to 700 million years old, a mere flash in its 13.8 billion year history. These galaxies, named universe breakers by the research group, challenge conventional thinking as they are already so large and bright at such an early cosmic age. The discovery of these systems raises intriguing questions about the rapid development of the early universe and challenges existing models of galaxy formation. According to prevailing theories, galaxies form slowly over billions of years through the merging of smaller systems and the accumulation of gas and stars. The presence of these enormous systems so early in cosmic history suggests a far more complex and potentially faster process of galaxy development than previously thought. Additionally, the discovery highlights the crucial role of technological advancements in reshaping how we understand the universe. The JWST's ability to peer deeper into space and capture faint light from distant galaxies has allowed astronomers to uncover previously invisible parts of the universe's early development. These insights provide valuable clues about the conditions and processes that governed galaxy formation during the universe's infancy. The implications of these discoveries extend beyond cosmology. They challenge scientists to revisit and refine existing cosmological models to better account for the observed diversity and complexity of galaxies over vast timescales. They also underscore the dynamic and evolving nature of scientific knowledge, where new discoveries can spur future breakthroughs and open new avenues for research. As scientists continue to examine and interpret the data from the JWST and other observatories, the study of galaxy evolution remains an exciting and rapidly advancing field. Each new discovery brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of our origins and helps us understand the fundamental processes that have shaped the universe as we know it today.